one after another, they kept unearthing the bones of these huge carnivorous dinosaurs. I don't know if Brown actually ever did a head count, but it, the minimum number of animals in this quarry is definitely 12. 12 large meat-eating dinosaurs buried in the same place. It was an unprecedented find. Phil Curry had found the site that he had dreamt of. But there was more. As they examined the bones they had collected, it was clear that the dinosaurs they had excavated were of every age, from babies up to fully mature adults. It looked like a pack. The range of material is such that we can see that the smallest individual found in the bone bed was about four meters long, and the largest individual found in the bone bed is about 11 meters long. So it's a pretty big range in size for this animal. They had found a whole pack of tyrannosaurs. Here at last was proof to Curry that the giant meat eaters were not solitary creatures, that their traditional image was wrong. Instead, the mega carnivores may really have lived and hunted in groups. If that was true, then down in South America, packs of Giganotosaurus might indeed have attacked prey as enormous as the immense long neck Argentinosaurus. Oh! 